Welcome to Colin and Coco's Daily Maths Workout. This is workout 5.1, multiplication, it's day one. Okay, so on day one, we're gonna be looking at workout A and workout D. Workout A is just a, a do it type activity. So it's literally practicing the skill of multiplication. Okay, you're gonna to need to do most of these on another piece of paper because they're gonna need some, some working out, all right? Uh, but stop and look, because some of them you might be able to do mentally. So thinking about, you know, if you're doing two digit multiplied by two digit, 42 times 34, nothing to spot particularly about that one. I think quite nice low digits. Yeah, but I probably need to set it out as a written method like this. Yeah, uh, and just remember when we're multiplying by this three here, making it 10 times bigger. So we're going to need to remember to put a zero in our ones column, aren't we? Okay, so go and have a go at these as quickly as you can on a, on a separate piece of paper maybe fill your answers in on your sheet, up to you, and then come back and I'll give you some answers and then we'll learn again. Okay, off you go. So these are the answers to work out A. All right, so just check yours against mine. Uh, if you've got any that don't match, just go and have a little look, see what went wrong and see if you can work it out and correct it. And then let's learn again. Every week, workout D is a game, and this game is practicing multiplying by seven. But it's not just your seven times table, it's using your seven times table, okay? So if we look at the board here, we can see on the board we've got some decimals, but we've also got some multiples of 10. So those are the two things that we're practicing here. So we're using that idea of if I know. Yeah, so say for example, if I know, seven multiplied by six is 42. And then if I actually, I can think about that as obviously as six multiplied by seven is 42. I've got the invert, that commutative nature of six sevens. But also then if I think about doing 0 0.6 times seven, I've made this 10 times smaller here. So therefore my answer is gonna be 10 times smaller. Divided six by 10, so I divide my answer by 10. But what if I go the other way? Well, if instead of making it smaller, I make it 10 times bigger and do 60 times seven, then my answer is gonna be 10 times bigger. So I'm gonna get 420. So those are the skills involved in this game. So to play the game, ideally you're gonna be playing against someone else. You're gonna choose a number, multiply it by seven and find the answer. If I was going to do, I could do 0 0.2 for example, multiplied by seven. Well, I know that two sevens are 14, so 10 times smaller, 0 0.2 times seven is gonna be 1.4. So those are my, every time it's my go, I'm gonna be finding two and covering two numbers on the board. So now it's my partner's turn, and they're gonna choose two numbers. So a number multiplied by seven equals another number. So for example, they could think, oh, well, what about 0 0.4? Okay, so here's 0 0.4 multiplied by seven. Well, four multiplied by seven is 28. So 0 0.4 multiplied by seven is gonna be 2.8. So you're aiming to get five numbers in a line next to each other, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Okay, so you sort of like connect four, but you're connecting five. So every time it's your go, you're gonna be circling or covering two numbers on the board, and then it's your partner's turn. Off you go.